Thanks, Lindsay. Now I'll be highlighting some of the latest developments in our orders management solution. Here to share those insider insights is Dimensional Insights Healthcare for Business Intelligence Consultant, Josh Loverin. Josh, over to you. Thanks, Nora. Orders Management Advisor is designed to help you monitor and analyze the orders being placed within your healthcare organization. For context, an order is a request made by a healthcare provider for treatments, tests, or services to be done for a patient. Currently, there are three main components of the application. We have high-level volume tracking, where you can monitor orders over time, by provider, by department, and so on. There is a whole queue component where we can see the orders that have been placed but not yet done or scheduled, and this can aid users in determining which patients need to be contacted back. And last, we have the charge reconciliation element where we can see the orders that have been completed but not yet charged for, along with the potential dollar amount missed. And here we also flag instances where an order may have been charged elsewhere. And this can occur, for instance, when a patient's order is processed during a separate encounter and the order isn't transferred to that encounter's records. So consequently, you have the initial encounter with the order and the new encounter with the charge. And here we bridge the gap between those two, which may have gone unnoticed prior. Back to you, Nora. Thank you, Josh. Now that we have seen how orders management works, let's learn more about how it can be applied to real hospital settings. Southern Ohio Medical Center has been using the orders management to streamline its hospital operations. To share the organization's experience, we are joined by Ethan McCarty, SOMC's Director of Medical Imaging. Hey, Ethan. It's great to be chatting with you today, and thanks for joining us at the IUC. Hey, Nora. Thanks for having me, and I look forward to the discussion. Wonderful. Since the new orders management dashboards were, were created, how have you and your team been using them? You know, when, when you came around, Nora, and Dimensional Insight, we, we shared a problem that we had. It's all these orders in our whole queue that were not following up on these patients. And we didn't have a good way to track those patients or to identify them. And we're able to use Dimensional Insight to, to get a list of patients who are overdue for the orders. You know, medical imaging exam orders are good for a year. So we have our central scheduling team work this list, and we're able to get patients brought back in who initially we wouldn't have been able to image because they would have been lost to follow up. So we're able to, to, to see an increase in patient care because we're able to get these patients in in a timely manner. That's wonderful. What are some of the process improvements you have seen or any improvements in revenue capture or scheduling processes? Yeah, so as far as the process improvements, our, our, our best process improvement that we're able to provide a higher level of care for these patients. We're able to identify patients who we normally wouldn't have scanned. They would have been lost to follow up. We're able to get them scheduled or at a minimum, talk to them and document why they might not want to get their imaging tests uh, performed. Uh, overall, we expect this to improve our patient care. Uh, and you know, along with that, performing more exams, more scans, we also expect an increase in revenue. We don't have hard data yet, but it's something we're tracking and uh, we'll share when we get there. Okay. And what are your next steps with the solution? You know, this is a fairly new process for us. We're able to use this list and our goal is to reduce the time it takes patients to get their imaging exam and, and to not lose patients to follow up. So our goal is just to fine tune this with our team within SOMC to work this list and to, to get more patients scanned in a timely manner. Thank you. And I think you'll be successful. Um, well, that wraps up our session. Thanks, Ethan, for joining us for the IUC today. Hey, thank you, Nora.